Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click the Hire Us button or the contact, contact Us link, fill out that information, and someone will be back in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, uh, if you like this content and other content like this, please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. All right, so uh, we did our videos on the uh, Flex Mini, one of my favorite switches. And uh, we learned through uh, playing in the controller that you cannot do a lag on this. But what we can do is turn this into an active Ethernet tab. So that is exactly what we're going to do. All right, so... The first thing you've got to do is you've got to make sure that your Flex Mini is adopted into your controller. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to click on the Flex Mini and I'm going to go over to ports. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave port number one as my uplink port uh, or the port where, you know, half of that connection is going to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mirror two and three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on port two. I'm going to go to port profile uh, override, port profile override, and where it says operation switching, I'm going to drop that down to mirroring. And we are going to mirror port three, and we are going to save that. So what exactly did we just do? We selected a setting that anything that is plugged into port three, the traffic is going to get mirrored to port two. So now we can plug in uh, a net tool with a USB drive in a number two. And whatever's on port three is going to uh, mirror to that. We can plug in a laptop running Wireshark. Uh, you can plug in, you know, a machine running TCP dump. You can do all those things. Now, how, you know, how do you actually split the connection, right? So let's say that... Uh, you know, you've got an Ethernet link between, I'm looking for a cable, between uh, two, two machines. And I actually have one uh, right here. So you've got a link between two machines. And when I say machines, it's anything on a network, right? So you have a link between a workstation and a switch. And you want to stick this in and you want to, you know, sniff the traffic for troubleshooting or whatever's going on. What you're going to do is you're going to take that original cable from the computer or from the device uh, that you want to, that you want to sniff. You're going to plug it into port number one. You're going to plug your sniffing device into port number two. And then number three is going to go from here back to the switch where the workstation was. Or, I mean, you can flop these these two because all of this traffic is just between these three devices. So, you know, if you've got one of these and you want to try it, it's, it's pretty easy. Follow the instructions and then uh, throw Wireshark, you know, on your computer. Uh, put your computer in port number two and just watch Wireshark. You'll see all the traffic between these two ports mirrored to that port. And that's it. And, and it is hugely... Hugely. It is very uh, useful for troubleshooting all types of scenarios. So if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click the Hire Us button and uh, fill out the information form and someone will be back in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our clearly marked Amazon affiliate links, they are down below. There's also a link to become a patron on our Patreon page. And thank you to those folks. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.